ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! I'm Gabby Concepcion, the attorney, not the artista. At ako naman si Jules Giang with Season 3 of Kate Check. Today, we are challenging a new set of contestants to see how much they know and how far they'll go. So stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next Kate Check champion will be. So apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Alz is a computer engineering student of UP Diliman and he hopes to graduate very soon. Gaano ka na ba katagal nandito, Alz? But in any case, his pastime is to travel around on his motorcycle while jamming to music. His favorite genres include OPM, pop, or anything he finds interesting. Ariel is a physical education student of UP Diliman. Among her hobbies are watching horror, crime, and mystery films, listening to K-pop and J-pop music, and playing sports. She also likes to collect Pockmart blind boxes. Ako, ang dami mong magagasta dyan sa blind boxes na yan, ha? Josh is an engineering student at UP Diliman, brings a sharp mind cultivated through trivia shows. Parang today. As president of UP Roar, the university's round net organization, he's primed for competition. Josh also enjoys singing and running in his spare time. I wonder if he does both at the same time. <laughs> BJ is a graduating theater arts student. He does stage management in various student theater productions in Dulaang UP and UP Dulaang Laboratorio. He likes music, cycling, and writing poetry. This is his first time to join a game show and he hopes he will win. As to the other three. Yes. <laughs> Anyway, so these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Glessy Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. Next, we have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology from UP Manila. And we have Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former chair of the Department of History, UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first round? Correct answers are 10 points each. Kaya naman, get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Kaya naman, let's, let's begin. begin. This is round one. Let's begin. Question number one. Shortened as OB, what do you call a doctor who specializes in labor and childbirth? Als. OB, guy. The answer is incorrect. Josh. Obstetrician. Obstetrician is the correct answer. K-check. Question number two. The Tagalog word for a debate in extemporaneous verse was taken from the name of which Filipino poet who wrote the epic Florante at Laura? Als. Francisco Balagtas. Francisco Balagtas is correct. Francisco Balagtas was the name from which the term Balagtasan was taken. Okay, check. Question number three. What state in the USA is nicknamed the Aloha State? Hawaii. Else? Hawaii. <laughs> Hawaii is the correct answer. K okay, check. Question number four. Scientists fear that water extraction and weight of buildings will cause the cities of Tianjin, Harbin, and Beijing to sink in the next decades. In what country is this? Als? China. China is the correct answer. This is the country in which this subsidence is predicted to happen. K check. Question number five. According to the title of the 2011 Marvel movie, who is the first Avenger? Als? Captain America. Captain America is the correct answer. K check. Question number six. In what sport can you play? The Sicilian defense or the French defense? Yes, else? Chess. Chess is the correct answer. K-check. Question number seven. 
What is the 2023 Top 40 hit song of Miley Cyrus, whose one word title else? Flowers. The answer is incorrect. What is the 2023 Top 40 hit song of Miley Cyrus, whose one word title is a body of water like the Amazon or Pasig? Josh. River. River is the correct answer. K check. Question number eight. What film franchise that has earned $10 billion in gate receipts is the source of the line? May the force be with you. Star Wars. Okay, but that took a while. Akala ko naman. Mag-uunahan kayo. Star Wars is the correct answer. K check. Question number nine. Neymar and Lionel Messi are two of the top paid players for 2024. In what sport? Josh. Football. Football is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. In geometry, what is the area in square inches of a triangle having a base of 18 inches and an altitude of 10 inches? Josh. 90. 90 square inches is the correct answer, K check. Question number 11. According to the nursery rhyme, all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put which character together again? Josh. Three musketeers. The answer is incorrect. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put who together again? Is this a generational issue? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe kayo, Humpty Dumpty kaya ang tamang sagot. Hindi pa rin? Not <laughs> familiar. Question number 12. What robbery confection was banned in Singapore in 1992? Josh. Uh, gum. Gum or chewing gum is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for our first round. Maraming salamat, Attorney Gabby. Let's do a scores recap. For this round, Josh is leading with 60 points, followed by Alz with 50 points, at sila Ariel and BJ, kaya nyo pang humabol sa susunod. And we have this segment in K-Check na favorite namin dahil pinikilala natin ang mga contestants. Ito ang K-Chica! Sabulan natin kay Alz. So Alz, you said your favorite pastime is traveling around on your motorcycle as you listen <laughs> to music. So, ano bang meron sa riding your motorcycle that brings you comfort? Uh, siguro yung ano, yung iba-iba yung nakikita mong surroundings. Like, makakarating ka sa from point A to point, from point B. Para sa akin, it's about the journey talaga, not the not destination. The destination. Yes. Okay. Pero ano yun, safe naman yun na kahit on the oh, last po. yung music. Like, may ano po, intercom. Sa so, pwede pong makinig ng music habang nagre-ride. Basta, takot pa rin. <laughs> Hindi ko pinapayagan yung mga anak ko magmotot. But anyway, Ariel is a collector pala of Pop Mart blind boxes. What are blind boxes and which Pop Mart IP is your favorite? Um, for Pop Marts po, um, favorite ko usually yung um, artist na gumagawa ng Skull Panda. Then yung um, specific na series po is Kaza... Castle Night series. Hindi ko lang kung tama po, pero doon po yung, yun po yung favorite na series ko po with Skull Panda. Are you familiar? Actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> Parang politely listening, pero actually, but a blind box is something you, you buy not knowing what's yes. inside. Yes. Huh? Yes. Literally, okay, okay. Pag minamalas ka, you keep buying and you end up with the same thing, correct? That's what uh -huh. interesting. interesting. Thank you so much uh, kay Alz at kay Ariel. Pero later on, kakausapin natin sila Josh and si BJ. Pero siyempre, paghandaan naman natin ang round 2. Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng... K-Check! -check. pa rin ang ating karunungan check and after that round, we have Josh in the lead with 60, Alz with 50, Ariel, Ariel I keep making mistake, Ariel and BJ with a lot of catching up to do. Okay, tuloy na tayo sa ating K-Chica, si Josh naman. So, 
Gusto lang i-announce ni Josh sa lahat na he is everyone's toughest competition. Kasi nga daw, nahasa siya sa mga trivia shows at pre president siya ng Roundnet organization dito sa UP. So ano, ano ba muna yung Roundnet? Uh, Roundnet is a sport na like volleyball. But instead of going, ay, ipapasa yung bola parang sa taas ng net. May net na parang circular, tapos you bounce it there. Oh. Interesting. So, may, meron kayong parang court dito sa UP or do you go somewhere? Oh, you can play anywhere. Anywhere. So, mas prefer namin sa grass. Para we can roll, roll kapag naglalala. Okay. So, enthusiast ka rin ng mga trivia shows. Na-meet ba ng K-Check ang expectations mo so far? Yes. Bro. May mga... Good lang, nasa lead siya. May mga metrics ka. <laughs> <laughs> may mga metrics ka ba natitingan sa mga trivia shows? Uh, siguro po yung ano, mga tinitinan ko lang yung question. Okay naman. Yes. Dita. Okay. yes po. <laughs> <laughs> Parang anda andami na nating hindi alam sa generation ito. Yes. <laughs> Although mas malapit ka sa generation naman. Si BJ naman tanungin din natin kung na-meet ang expectations niya kasi first time daw niya sumali ng game show. So, alam mo na ba kung paano manalo sa ganitong <laughs> game? <laughs> Nakakaloka. <laughs> and now it's time for round two. So contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure to strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. So, let's, let's begin. begin. This is round two. Let's begin. Question number one. Thomas Jefferson is the third president of which country? Als. United States of America. United States of America is correct. K check. Question number two. In Greek theater, what type of drama has a serious plot that often dealt with morals in contrast with a light-hearted comedy? DJ. Tragedy. Tragedy is correct. K check. Question number three. Which role-playing video game that was released in 1987? and had sold more than 185 million copies includes characters Cloud and Terra. Als. Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. What flying insect emerges from a chrysalis? The correct answer is butterfly. Question number five. In science, what term refers to a measurement of how much water vapor there is in the air? Josh. Humidity. Humidity is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. What country invaded the Philippines less than a day after it attacked Pearl Harbor in Hawaii? Als. Japan. Let me proceed. Hawaii in 1941. said Japan. That's correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. The Deathly Hollows Part 2 is the highest grossing movie of what film franchise? Als. Harry Potter. Harry Potter is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. What coffee beverage having a milk foam is named after the... Josh. Cappuccino. Let me proceed. Named after the color of hooded robes worn by friars. He said cappuccino. That is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. Complete the saying coined by Margaret Wolfe in 1878. Blank is in the eye of the beholder. Josh. Beauty. Beauty is correct. Okay, check. Question number ten. What southern country is known for its native bird, kookaburra, and the wild dog, dingo? Correct answer is Australia. Question number 11. What South American country won a record fifth football World Cup in 2002? Als. Brazil. Brazil is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round, number 12. Which 2017 musical film recounted the life of promoter P.T. Barnum, who was played as... The Greatest Showman. Let me proceed. Played in the movie by Hugh Jackman, you said The Greatest Showman. That is correct. Okay, check. And that ends round number two.
Thank you very much, Juice. Now, tingnan natin how our contestants did. Well, after that round, Alice is now leading with 170 points, Josh with 120, BJ with 20, and Ariel with some catching up to do. Pero hindi pa tapos ang laban. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! And welcome back to K-Check. And again, a recap. We have Alice with 170 points, Josh with 120 points, BJ with 20, and Ariel with some catching up to do. Pero wag mag-alala, meron pa tayong darating na ultimate pagalingan round. Ma, dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. For this multiple-choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer, but not the letter only. Sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Kaya naman, let's begin! Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Glessie. Okay. Noong American colonial period, nakilala ang gawin ng pagpapakilala sa mga artista tulad kay Bayani Casimiro bilang Fred Astaire of the Philippines, Jomides Maturan bilang Perry Como of the Philippines at Edgar Opida bilang Elvis Presley of the Philippines. Ano ang tawag sa ganitong uri ng panggagaya? Una, A. Mimesis Syndrome B. Copycat Syndrome C. Colonial Mentality Else. C. Colonial Mentality May I continue? Letter D. Hero Worship And letter E. None of the above The answer is incorrect Josh B. Copycat The answer is letter B. The Copycat Syndrome Okay, check Next question, Prof. Marla Science in the cell, which metabolic pathway occurs in the cytoplasm and breaks down glucose into pyruvate? A. Glycolysis B. Citric acid cycle C. Electron transport chain D. Beta oxidation E. Pentose phosphate pathway Josh. A. Glycolysis The correct answer is A. Glycolysis K. Check Prof. Lu. Okay, cultural history tayo. What is the title of the studio-produced debut album of the Pinoy band Eraserheads? Letter A, Circus. Letter B, Caterpillar. Letter C, Ultra Electromagnetic Pop. Letter D, Fruitcake. Letter E, Sticker Happy. Ariel. E, Sticker Happy. Uh, incorrect. Sorry. DJ. C. Ultra Electromagnetic Pop. Eraserheads recorded their de debut album, Ele Ultra Electromagnetic Pop, in early 1993. First released by BMG on cassette. Talagang may cassette noon. In July, the album was a commercial success, selling 300,000 copies by the end of the year. The correct answer is C. Ultra Electromagnetic Pop. Okay, check. And after that round, Josh is back in the lead with 180 points, Alice with 155, BJ with 50, and Ariel with 50, minus 15 points. Okay, so now we proceed to our second set, Prof. Blessy. Okay, sa awit na ito, isang ibong may tinig na nakapagpapagaling ng may sakit ang hinahanap ng mga anak ng hari. Ano ang buong pamagat ng awit na ito? Letter A, ang awit ng babaeng marmol. Letter B, ang awit ng ibong mandaragit. Letter C, ang awit ng ibong adarna. Letter D, else. Letter C, ang awit ng ibong adarna. Let me continue. Letter D, ang awit na di matapos-tapos. And letter E, none of the above. The correct answer is letter C, ang awit ng ibong adarna. Okay, check. Prof. Marla. What is the term for a solution that has a pH value less than 7? Josh. Acidic. The choices are A. Basic B. Acidic C. Neutral 
D, alkaline. E, saline. The correct answer is B, acidic. K, check. Prof. Lu? Asian history. Who was the mythological first emperor of China? Else. Shi Wang Ti. The choices are A, yellow emperor, B, red emperor, C, white emperor, D, golden emperor, or E, jade emperor? Josh. D, golden emperor. That's incorrect, sorry. Huang Di is a myth mythical culture hero in Chinese folk religion. He is credited with various inventions like the lunar calendar and the compass needle. He is also referred to as the Yellow Emperor. The correct answer is a Yellow Emperor. Thank you, Prof. Lu. We're done with the first half of our questions. The scores remain uh, the same. We're leading pa rin natin si Josh right now with 195. And else has 170, and BJ with 50, and Ariel with negative 15. Although he wasn't in the first place all the time, talagang nag 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 Sumikat ang salitang ito noong dekada 70 upang tukuyin ang mga gawi ng nakatataas na uri sa lipunan. Katumbas ito ng salitang konyo, social sa panahon ngayon. Ano ang salitang ito? A. Big time B. Sikat C. Burgis Josh C. Burgis Let me continue. D. Jeprox and E. Trying hard. The answer is letter C. Burgis. K-check. Next, Prof. Marla. What is the star that is closest to Earth? Josh. Sun. The choices are A. Alpha Centauri B. Proxima Centauri C. Vega D. Sirius E. Sun. The correct answer is E. Sun. K-check. Next question, Prof. Liu. Cultural history uli. What Korean movie was the first non-English language film to win the Academy Awards for Best Picture? Else. Parasite. Aside from Best Picture, Parasite also won the 2019 Oscar for Best Director, Best Original Screenplay, and Best International Feature Film. The correct answer is D. Parasite K. Check. Okay. So before we proceed to the last round, dalawa na sila attorney na nasa 200. Mm -hmm. Josh has 255, Alice is 200. And Meron pang 90 points. 90 points to go. Hindi pa natin masasabi kung talagang may clear advantage or sigurado na si Josh. Okay, let's go. So let's go and see. Okay, salamat. Itinuturing na pioneer ng Araling Pilipino sa pamamagitan ng pagpapanukala ng pantayong pananaw. Sino ang scholar na ito? A. Zu Salazar B. Manuel Salazar C. Emilio Jacinto D. Emilio Aguinaldo E. Atoy Navarro House D. Manuel Salazar Sorry, wrong answer. The correct answer is letter A, Zeus Salazar. Thank you, Prof. Marla. In biology, which process involves the synthesis of proteins based on the information encoded in mRNA? A, transcription. B, translation. C, replication. Else. A transcription. The answer is wrong. D transduction. E transformation. Josh. A transcription. The answer is wrong. A replication. The answer is wrong. Transformation. 
The answer is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the correct answer is B, translation. So last question for this round, Prof. Lu. Okay, this is it. Religious history tayo. The Golden Temple in Amritsar, Punjab is the holiest site of which religion? Letter A, Hinduism. Letter B, Buddhism. Letter C, Jainism. Letter D, Sikhism. Letter E, Zoroastrianism. Else, B, Sikhism. Built in 1589, Hamandar Sahib, or the Golden Temple, was built using marble and copper and overlaid with gold leaf, hence its name. It is the most significant shrine of Sikhism. The correct answer is the Sikhism K-Check. So that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Josh, our K-Check Daily Winner with a final score of 240 points. We'll see him again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. So maraming salamat din to Alf, Ariel, and DJ for joining us. And syempre sa members ng ating panel of experts, Professor Marla, Professor Glessy, and Professor Lou. So this has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another... K-Check! K -check.